It's the feeling you get as a kid in the last week of school before the summer. Or as an adult, when you've only got two days left at work before a holiday. Or how it feels a couple of minutes before the final whistle, when you know your team's gonna win. Even though the game's not over, your excitement builds with every pass and tackle as the clock counts down to certain victory. That's hope. And there are a few emotions more powerful. Hope is a spark inside you that brings a smile to your lips, a light that shows on your face, a feeling that lifts your head and pulls you forward. Maybe you can remember a time when you knew that something good was on its way, that some happy thing was gonna to happen to you or the people you love. That right there is hope. And it's a strange emotion, because in that moment, nothing has changed, and yet everything has changed. That thing on the horizon of your future lifts your mood in the present. So while circumstances remain the same for now, you go about your day like you're walking on air. Real hope is not a vague optimism, but a joyful confidence, an expectation for the future that is worth working for, worth waiting for. Hope's a wonderful thing, a powerful thing. It's what keeps us alive. History's greatest survival stories show that when we have something to live for, we can persevere through even the hardest of circumstances. That's why there are a few things that crush us more than when our hopes are dashed. That sinking feeling in your stomach when the application gets rejected, or the sale falls through, or the test results come back, and all your happy daydreams dissolve in a moment. I'll never forget the phone call my dad got when I was 16 years old that broke the news of a family tragedy. My godfather had been killed suddenly in an accident. It hit me like a ton of bricks. Dashed hopes are hard to bear. And so are disappointed hopes. Perhaps you know how it feels when you do get what you've been dreaming of, only to find that it's not all you thought it would be. You finally get the job, or the relationship, or the retirement that you'd been hoping for, and it just doesn't deliver the satisfaction it promised. So you set your sights on something else, and the whole cycle starts over again. Hope drives us until it disappoints us. And perhaps you've even met someone with no hope at all. Someone who's been knocked down too low for too long, and now there's no good thing on the horizon, nothing to lift their head. Hopelessness is awful. Maybe that's been you in the past or perhaps even right now. We all need hope. It's what keeps us alive. So we need to find a hope worth having that won't get dashed and that won't disappoint us. What does that kind of hope look like? A hope worth having is one that's true. We need to be confident that it really will happen. Not a fantasy, but reality. Not maybe, but sure. A hope worth having is one that delivers what it promises. When we get there, it needs to meet our expectations and be worth all the effort. The thing we're hoping for should be every bit as good as we'd imagined it would be. And a hope worth having has to be for something that will last. Otherwise the joy will fade. We'll have to start hoping for something else. Hope like that proves elusive to many of us. Yet lots of people say they've found it. In all humility, I would too. 
That's why these three sessions are called Hope Explored, because a hope worth having is what the Christian faith claims to offer. It's an invitation to put your hope in a future that is better than anything else you could imagine. Christianity is not about a feeling in my tummy or a blind faith in defiance of all the data. Christian hope is a joyful expectation for the future based on true events in the past, which changes everything about my present. That's what real hope is, a hope worth having. And if you're not convinced of that, welcome. Whatever you do or don't believe, we're so glad you're here. This series is for you. This is your opportunity to explore, to discuss, to question, to discover. This is Hope Explored. Oh,